I finally started building a uh, lumber rack here for the mill, or for the wood shop rather. Like I said in that previous video, I had one of these at the old shop and I overbuilt it. It was like four feet wide, way too big. I've downsized this one just a little. This one's gonna be three foot wide and eight feet long and probably about maybe seven feet tall. I'm not sure yet. I got pretty high ceilings in here. I might go eight feet on that. So here's what's going on. I had the plywood cut to length over at Home Depot. It's easier for those guys just to rip it down on that panel saw. And for me to bring it here and try to feed it through myself. I could use that fast tool track saw I have, but I don't have an eight foot track for it right now. I just have a uh, six foot track. So this is what's going on. I got some two befores here. I'm putting a frame together. And once I get this frame built, I'll flip this over and put the plywood on top and attach it with some screws. And it's pretty simple here. I'm just doing some basic framing. Every two feet, I'll put a rib. And right here at the bottom, or at the end of it rather, on both ends, I'm gonna be laminating some two befores together, not with glue, but with some screws. Right here in this corner, I'm gonna have two full-size two befores screwed together, also screwed into this main two before running the length of the whole cart. I'm also gonna have to come in here and add one more not full length, don't really need full length. Got plenty of strength with these two. But this one right here will be added in. And the reason being, these monster casters I got from Harbor Freight, you really get some good deals at Harbor Freight. Some of their stuff is junk, but some of it's real good. And their casters are always being pretty good when I've bought them. These are rated for like, gosh, I think uh, 600 pounds, I believe, or 1,200. See what it says, 600 pounds. These are a six inch casters. And they're so wide here at the base, you gotta put three two befores in here to catch all four mounting holes. I'll put some lad screws in here to attach this. going on today walking around to the back of the sawmill building As you guys can see got a lot of pines sitting there on those saw horses this is all in four quarter actually I think it's five quarter actually this is five quarter white pine that we sawed up about a week ago got some nice wide boards on top of there and this will be going into the kiln today to be added with some more pine that's already stacked in there. Not done a lot of sawing here. It's the first day after Christmas. Just trying to get back in the swing of things. Took a few days off. It's really nice weather today. It is like 65 degrees out here right now in Northeast Tennessee. It is really warm for this time of year. So we'll get the tractor out and load up the kiln also got to clean up some scraps back here. Got some pine slabs in there. I can't get rid of those. A lot of people come and get the hardwood for firewood and stuff, but the pine, they will not burn that in their fireplace. They want nothing to do with it. So a little bit of cleanup today. Got this really nice walnut crotch log here. I need to try to get that on the mill sooner than later. It's going to be a real nice one. Got some metal over there to clean up. Back here in the back. Got some more pine to saw. 
probably throw this one on the sawmill today and have it ready to saw up. That's a nice eight footer. We'll make that into five quarter boards also for the kiln. And right here, we got some 14 footers. Got four of them. Got white pine right there. Then those three are yellow pine. And those are gonna be the tie beams for the barn. That's not the cats out here with us today. That's the newest cat here at the sawmill. So before we get going, I'm gonna get on the tractor and go down to the access road coming into the sawmill. There's about a, gosh, it's probably about maybe 70 yards of road I have to maintain coming in here. It goes through a right of way through the next farm over and it's all gravel. And I try to keep that stuff worked up as best I can. We had a lot of rain last week and it washed out some of the gravel. So we'll head down there first with the bots blade, try to work up that road and get some of those ruts fixed. And then we'll come up here and load up the kiln, do some cleanup work and then put the grapple on and try to bring some logs over here to the mill. So we got something to saw. Got a lot of pine to saw. A whole lot of pine. All right, guys, this is probably the best pine that's going in the kiln today. Get my measuring tape. About 15 inches wide, these are five quarter, eight foot boards. And I sawed these up a few weeks ago. All the pine that we're putting in the kiln today, I've sawed up within the past 
probably two to four weeks here on the mill. And it's not even a full load yet. I need to get some more pine on the mill to finish up that load before we start drying it. Try to pan over, you can see this is some really nice pine actually. Limited knots down there toward the end. You got a cluster of knots right there in the middle. But really not too bad. This is some nice pine. My plans on this pine, once we run it through the kiln and dry it down to about 8%, this will be tabletops and cabinets for the new barn. More so cabinets than probably tabletops. I want to build a farmhouse table or two with some of this white pine, but most of it will be cabinets for the new barn. Should be some nice cabinets here. This pine's not too bad. It's pretty light. It's been out here drying for about, you know, like I said, two to four weeks not too heavy, and it shouldn't take too long in the kiln once we get it loaded up. What we'll probably do, this will be the last load of pine. I got three more boards, we'll throw it in the kiln. And that's gonna give me about 300 board feet in the kiln. I wanted to get about twice that amount before we cut it on. And with this pine, you can put it in the kiln green. Even though it's been air dried here for a few weeks, if I sawed it today, I could put it right in the kiln and turn it on, it would be just fine. That's one thing about white pine or yellow pine or even poplar. You can put it right in the kiln when it's green, turn the kiln wide open, and it will dry it down in about 10 days. In case I haven't mentioned it already, it is December 26th and it's now 68 degrees here in Tennessee and it's 430. It's crazy. Never seen it this warm this time of year ever. Crazy. Thank you. 